Hi everyone and welcome back to my tech guide. As you know, I like to cover a lot of tech gadgets, phone gadgets, laptop gadgets, etc. And cool things that you can use for the home appliances or business appliances as well. But today I'm coming to you with, um, I think, a pretty cool gadget, which I think is great for home and also even for work. So today we'll talk about the Samsung Freestyle second gen um, projector and this is a very cool gadget because um, it actually allows you to um, put the image uh, an ideal screen from size from 30 inches to 100 inches and easily adjust the angle of the projector picture so what we're gonna do we're gonna do a quick unboxing and also I'm gonna show you all the details of this project so let's do it Okay, let's open up. So, here obviously we have a Samsung, and then we have the actual machine. So, let's put it like that. And let's slide it out slowly. Okay, so here, what do we have? We have some accessories. Super fast charging and some cables. So you can see there is a long USB C charging charging cable. Alright, so we're gonna need that. Putting this back. This probably has some yeah, instruction manual. We don't need it at this moment. Okay, putting it back. Right, and now slowly the machine itself. All right, so this is the machine. As you can see, it's pretty portable. It's a very nice size. It has a small frame here, and I think we have some connectors here as well. What do we have? Oh, that's a remote control. So, great, it says it passed the test. And there's like a full Samsung remote. As this contains also a smart TV. All right, and that's about it. So, on the side of the device, we can connect the USB C. We have the uh, micro HDMI, which we'll need the adapter for. And here's the turn on of the uh, mic and I'm going to show you how does it work. What you're going to do as well is you will need the um, micro HDMI to HDMI cable. That's kind of how it looks. Wait, the camera. Oh, yeah, here it is. Because it needs to fit to that HDMI hole. And the, the next thing which we'll need to do is we'll need to take the cover off because otherwise it can work as a, a lamp. So that's pretty actually cool as well. So if you have it on a nightstand, etc., you can actually use it. Um, so let's take it off. Let's connect it to the laptop. And let's test it out. I'm going to put it on the side. So let's put it here. And I'm going to show you in a second how does it exactly look. So as you can see, it immediately showed me some apps to which I can link, like Amazon Prime and stuff like that, because it should work as well as a, a smart TV, which is a pretty cool feature. So, it turned itself on. You probably hear the um, microphone as well, which is kind of working uh, in the, sorry, the speaker of the um, projector, which is working pretty great. Yeah, and now you can see the setup of all of those kind of apps, so it kind of were like a smart TV mode. So now what we want to do is we want to make the screen a bit larger. So we're going to press plus and I'm going to do it on the screen itself. Oh no, that's a speaker. Okay, so let's go for the actual setup. So I assume that I, I need to do it on here, on settings. And let's go for the out of focus. Okay. All 
right, then out of Keystone. So as you can see, it already popped the Windows, um, the Windows menu, which is literally showing me the um, the uh, my Windows screen, so I can scale it up and down. So as you can see, that's how it kind of looks, right? So I assume that uh, now, if I let's say take, you know, I'm gonna open YouTube. Look, opening YouTube. Um, you know maybe taking some 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 video okay and now i can see the actual um screen right so i can see great the youtube actually have worked so uh, let me just full screen that so it's full screen yes yeah, skip and i should have the this so it's pretty decent. Oh, let's dig into some details of the actual um, spec. So we can see that uh, it ha it's a smart TV, as I mentioned. It has a 360 degree sound, which is built in into that small device. It also has uh, the option to connect with uh, others. So you can actually connect to more than one, um, more than one uh, projector. The kind of Four features that you can go for all around 180 design so you can put it on the wall or a ceiling there's instant setup so immediately picks up how, how it works you have a 360 sound and there's a smart tv connected to it so you can see how does it actually look you can put it on the um on the ceiling as well looks pretty cool it's pretty easy so you get this picture every time everywhere so i can do that which yeah i think it's pretty pretty decent premium 360 sounds and sounds come from the um, bottom and as you can see that's a smart TV setup which you just saw also as well on the video. Easy usability so you can actually uh, stretch it put it like that which I think it's pretty cool and you can also use the ambient mode so set the mode with um, embedded ambient modes and use for example I don't know uh, something like that or like something like that or like fire so pretty cool um, kind of things so i think that's pretty cool device you can even use the multi bluetooth pairing so connect two bluetooth earbuds and enjoy the same sound together so if you don't want to put you know on the speaker you can you know watch it silently well as you can see your kid is sleeping which is pretty cool uh, i do it all, also sometimes with tvs and when it comes to the price itself i think it's also a decent price because it's around 600 pounds for such a very small and a portable uh, monitor and it's like a projector which you can use as a you know as a tv as a working station as you can see there's so many ways to use it in an easy matter you can uh, mobile mirror you can use you know tap to view but i think that's for the um, samsung uh, only uh, but i think it's yeah samsung galaxy devices you have to tap tap to view so you can actually tap to the device and it will pick up what you're watching on the um on the uh, device and the cool thing is that the remote has a solar cell so that means it should actually never run out of power right which i think it's a great way from samsung to actually put that so when it comes to the uh, kind of livability it has a thirty thousand hours of lamp life which is around fifteen thousand movies watched so you have a lot of movies um kind of waiting for you if you're thinking about this device with um, you know easy setup and not having to have a bulky big TV in your place. So to just summarize, I think for home watching videos, YouTube, it's pretty great. You can put it on the wall, you can put it on the ceiling. It's not awesome when it comes into full bright daylight, but you saw that if I kind of lower the, um, the brightness and have a bit of a shadowy or in the evening, it works pretty good and I think it's a great accessory that you can connect with your phone etc you can even do kind of a wireless setting watch YouTube Netflix Prime Video I think it's awesome when it comes to um, using as a I would call it a business or a work uh, kind of option so maybe as an, an external monitor or to display some things I don't think would be as a great solution. Well, if you maybe need to display some PowerPoint presentation, yeah, that might be a good idea. Then you can put it on the wall and do a great PowerPoint presentation. But if you want to use it as a second screen 
and maybe you need to do some programming like all the details are actually not showing that great because it's only a full hd monitor it's not a 4k monitor so that means it's going on the resolution of 1920 by 1080 and not higher and if you're doing something which mm, requires a bit more detail then unfortunately that won't really work for you so let me know what you guys think leave it in the comments and it was great to talk to you rafael sevilla here must take talk